Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Now we will see the beating of the log drum in Hornbill Festival, Nagaland, which is one of the biggest musical instruments in the world. The beat that will now be sounded by the drummers of Uka is known as Kammai, made when victorious warriors return with enemy heads for trophies. The heads are placed above the log drum as warriors surround the log drum and beat the kame sound. Along with different beating rhythms, other kinds of knowledge were passed on through the tradition of the jang or voluntary. While hunting of heads has long ceased in other areas, these rhythms call the youth to bring home modern day accolades. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for the Uka cultural troop.
and gentlemen, the Ukha Cultural Troupe. The arena is now open to the public. The public can now enter the arena in front of the stage. In the majestic mountains of the Naga people, when time was young, a Konyak legend tells of a young girl, or hornbill mother, whose nest with four eggs was damaged by a thunderstorm. From the two eggs that survived was born a male and female. Ever since, hornbills nested in enclosed spaces inside hollows of tall trees or rock faces. When the hornbill lays her egg, she sheds her wings and tail and encloses her young. Unable to fly, she depends on her mate to bring food until mother and young are able to fly out of their self-confinement. This model of trust, altruism, and codependence, outmatching even our own, is one of the many reasons why the hornbill is a sacred bird for the Nagas. As the male hornbill soared through the skies to court, then nurture his beloved, and with her glide with their young over forest canopy, the melodious calls of the hornbill allowed their human brethren to synchronize